Recreational cannabis use was legalized in Canada in October 2018. A new study compares the proportion of drivers injured in motor vehicle collisions who tested positive for tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC, the main psychoactive ingredient in cannabis, before and after legalization. In this prospective study, 4,339 drivers who presented to four British Columbia trauma centers for moderate injuries from motor vehicle collisions submitted blood samples as part of their care between 2013 and 2020. The primary outcomes were various THC thresholds. After legalization, the percentage of tested drivers who had a detectable level of THC in their blood nearly doubled, from 9.2% to 17.9%. The proportion at or above the legal limit of 2 nanograms per milliliter also increased, from 3.8% to 8.6%, as did the proportion at or above 5 nanograms per milliliter, from 1.1% to 3.5%. Secondary outcomes incorporated elevated blood alcohol levels. After cannabis legalization, there was no significant change in injured drivers testing positive for alcohol. The authors conclude that the proportion of moderately injured drivers who are above Canada's legal limit for THC more than doubled after recreational cannabis legalization. Full study results are available at NEJM.org.